It's all about things that glow and even a glowing eyeball. Hi, I'm Steve Spangler and it is Halloween and you can't overlook the science of things that glow. So while everybody's looking at pu bubbling potions and things like that, I want to focus this segment on things that glow and some things that are easy for you to do at home, some things that are simple to get your hands on so that you can uh, make that Halloween party kind of pop. A lot of people don't know this, but um, there's a, a, a natural ingredient, tonic water, actually will glow under black light. Now this is a pretty good time to understand the difference between things that glow and things that fluoresce. So tonic water doesn't actually glow by itself, it actually fluoresces and so in order to see that you're going to need something like this black light. So at Halloween you can find them everywhere. I'd suggest stocking up because the prices are really good during Halloween. So get the big black light. So here's our black light that's here and let me tip it down and I want you to take a look at uh, the differences here. So go ahead and flip off the lights and take a look here. Now Phosphoresce means that when you uh, stimulate it with light and turn off the light, it continues to glow. This just fluoresces. And so when we add the uh, liquid here like this, you can see that under the black light, it begins to glow. Here's 7up just to show you the difference here. So if we put 7up inside, notice how 7up does not glow under the black light. So what we can do is we can use that tonic water. Uh, for example, we can spice up a regular drink if you want to by doing this. Flip on the lights for a second and I'll show you what I did. I just took a regular ice cube tray and I filled it with tonic water. So this is just tonic cubes, right? And uh, when you turn off the lights, take a look at this. As you come across, take a look at how these fluoresce under the black light. And I'm just using this little battery powered black light to be able to see it. So we're going to take some of these and just drop them in our liquid here to see if we can see some of the, that glowing. So we should have some glowing cubes when we are done. So these will come out and ah, here's our glowing cubes. So that makes kind of a spooky little drink. A little seven up and Tonic water, I don't know how good that tastes, but the effect is fantastic. And it's as simple as just finding some of the tonic water at, uh, at your local store and finding a black light and you can see it fluoresce under the black light. Here's another way to make something glow and we're going to use our graduated cylinder so that you can see it. This is a material here called Atomic Glow. Uh, it's a coloring agent. It's a concentrated coloring agent. They actually used a similar material in a powder form for people who would jump out of an airplane uh, and let's say that a, a fighter pilot got shot down. The same kind of dye was in his backpack so when he hit the ground it would glow this green and so a search and rescue kind of find him. In this particular case it's just great for Halloween. You need a spooky potion so this will do it. So flip off the lights. Now you can make any material you want glow under the black light using the Atomic Glow. And there's enough Atomic Glow sitting in here to probably color, I don't know, five, maybe ten gallons of, of liquid. It doesn't take a tremendous amount, but here is our glowing liquid. If I turn the black light off, you can see it's still kind of a cool yellow. Black light on, it just pops with color. And even if we have uh, our light here, it's just that spooky kind of mysterious color. If you want to flip the lights on again, I'll show you something now to do with it. Uh, we can use this liquid and, uh, and use it in some other experiments and some other ideas. You could, for example, use some of the jelly marbles. So our little marbles, remember these? These are the small little super absorbent polymer um, BBs that when you add them to water will expand. They absorb about 300 times their weight in water. So I just took about this much, maybe even a little bit less, and filled up this container here and I just used that atomic glow water, so the glowing water. So now if you turn off the lights, take a look down here what you get. We now get these glowing eyeballs. Isn't that a great look? So for Halloween, a dish of glowing eyeballs sitting out there is probably pretty cool. The last little piece here uh, is how to make something glow um, and actually become phosphorescent, which means that you give it light and then when you turn off the light, the electrons jump from a higher orbital to a lower one and thus they give off light. So things will glow. Here is the secret. It's a material called glow powder. And the glow powder is a very, very fine powder. If we put it out here like this on the dish, you can see what some of it looks like this way and even on my hand, so I can put a little bit here on my hand. And now if you flip off the lights, take a look at this, kind of a, a spooky uh, look. You just have to be careful because if you touch your clothes at this point, then everything around you will glow. You can write with light as well, so watch this. We can take another uh, black light. This is a, just a black LED light. Watch what happens when we try to write with the light. We can write with it this way and you can see how it glows. If you want to flip on the lights, I'll show you what I did to the pumpkin. I simply took um, uh, masking tape, you know, kind of that painter's tape, and I took masking tape and I just cut out a simple little design. So here are the triangles that went for the eyes, they were right here, and the nose, and of course the mouth. 
I put it on there and then I used the spray adhesive. So I sprayed the pumpkin with spray adhesive in a box and then I simply dusted it like this. And so where it was sticky, of course, it, uh, it stuck that way. And now all I have to do, I can use this black light. I really like it because I can get a lot of energy that way. So I'm gonna build it up with some energy, but it could be just the lights that are around us as well. And as soon as you flip off the lights, take a look at how the pumpkin glows on its own. So when all lights are even off, you can see how that pumpkin just continues to glow and to fluoresce. You now know how to make things glow from glowing powder that we have here to this atomic glow that will color uh, any liquid that you want to something natural like uh, quinine and tonic water and these very very cool ice cubes. Uh, Halloween is a perfect time to learn about the science of glow.